There are three ladies in the studio. Uh, they are Nigeria's first women's bobsled team. It doesn't end there. They have big dreams of featuring at the 2018 Winter Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. And I'll tell you about the, the, the sport called bobsled. Bobsled is a winter sport in which teams of two, so two, a driver and a brake, we love ladies, so brake women, um, they, they, they do timed runs on iced tracks. The time runs are combined to calculate the final score. The name of the sport uh, bobsled appeared when competitors uh, adopted the technique of bobbing back and forth inside the sled to increase its speed. So um, you need a sled, actually. If you don't have a sled, you, you're not competing. So let's bring back Shen Wadigu and, of course, Ingozi and Akwama. They're still with us in the studio. Shen, uh, how expensive is it to get a sled? This, the sport itself is extremely expensive. Whoa. The sled itself can run anywhere from about twenty to almost a hundred thousand dollars, and so that is why the sport is very, you know, very hard to get into. Most people can't afford wow. to get that type of sled, and that's another reason why most teams they don't generally buy their own sled in the beginning. They take time, and over time, they mm. then acquire a sled. It's 314 more days to the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. And with the kind of money you've just mentioned, how do you intend to raise money to buy the sled? You know, it's been beautiful, the type of support that we've been getting mm. all this time, that we've actually launched a crowdfunding, which is like a GoFundMe campaign. And in doing that, we've allowed people to now engage and be involved with helping us raise the funds so that we don't put the stress on Nigeria, because we just came out of nowhere with this team. Because, as Ngozi said, we're trying to bring a gift to Nigeria. Mm. And we understand and respect the process of how funds are released and we know that eventually the funds will help us but we want those funds to also help us build this federation so we're really helping all the people around us that are bringing in and 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 helping us get the, the funds for the sled mm. uh, Akwama, i don't know how you felt the first time they told you you're going to be part of a bobsled team what what's the reaction you get when you tell people that i'm the break woman in the bobsled team <laughs> Their first response is, for where? <laughs> Nigeria? And you do that in Houston, Texas? Uh. Like, what? You know, so I think there's a lot of confusion. And mm. so it is definitely an icebreaker. So it's a, definitely a good way to start up a conversation. I am, once again, part of the first ever Nigerian women's bobsled team. So everybody's curious on how it started. And, you know, they're really interested. And they're definitely interested in, in taking part of our journey with us. So I think it's definitely been positive. It's been a great icebreaker, like I said, yeah. a good way to get to know the program. That's right. It does it involve speed? Walk me through your first experience, the speed that the, the sled just takes on you. How was it like? It was, <laughs> I have no words for it almost. Um, but being that we all have track backgrounds, the speed was the least thing that we were worried about. It was actually the fear of the unknown. We didn't know what to expect. So the ice actually, the cold, all of those things were things that we actually considered outside of speed because we knew we had the speed to try to execute what we were trying to do. Mm. So these ladies are based in Texas, but they are proudly Nigerians, I'm sure. Very proudly. proudly Nigerians. Very proudly. You know? And I'm sure how confident, let me believe you, how confident are you that you ladies will qualify for the Winter Games and compete for Nigeria? Very, very, comp very, 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 mm. very confident. Where's that, where's that coming from? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Where and and where it's coming from, one, is because I'm a woman of faith. And, you know, the foundation of the reason why we have this team is because we have faith, we trust in God, and we trust each other. There's also a trust in the process. I've done my research, I've done my homework, and with these ladies' support, I've been able to successfully execute a plan to get us qualified for the Olympics that is currently in action, mm. and we are right on pace to get ourselves there. That's right. So I'm, I'm very... Um, very confident that we'll be able to get there. Anyone can answer this question. Let's go to, to social media now. Chio Deze Ebe uh, says, um, Nigeria doesn't have winter, and now we have a bobsled team. How did that happen? And where's the funding coming from in this recession? Well, it happened because, one, we took a chance. We went ahead and took a step out, a leap of faith, and decided to do something different. Mm. You know, we decided to take on a sport that's unconventional, but it, it's something that we should be able to be represented in. All of Africa should have representation in the winter sports. And so the funding for it, as we mentioned, is something that has been coming together as self-funded, okay. as people have been sponsoring us. And as surprising as it may seem, 
Nigerians and non-Nigerians alike are so excited about this team that everyone wants to help see us to the mm -hmm. Olympics. And they've been contributing left and right to make sure we get there. That's right. Akwama, what sort of support have you gotten since you got into this bobsled team? Definitely the support. I've gotten a lot of mental support, of course, from my family, first and foremost. And, of course, from these two ladies as well. We definitely are doing really, really well supporting each other. And, of course, our, when I say our, I mean Nigeria. Our country has been supporting us like crazy. I mean, it's been very overwhelming, the support that we've gotten via social media, in person, any way, outlet imaginable. People have been reaching out and saying, you know what, we're behind you ladies, and that's definitely important. Mm. We're about to go now. Ngozi, any more words for us um, as we look forward to you ladies competing in Pyeongchang? So I just have a word for up-and-coming athletes. Anybody inspiring to do anything, be persistent. Know that you can do anything you put your mind to because we are just three ordinary ladies that we came into something that's very unconventional. We knew nothing about it, but we made a way. If you really want to do something, be persistent and make a way. Mm. Let's say someone wants to assist. Shimo, how do they do that? So we actually, if you go on Google, you can type in Nigerian Women's Bobsled, GoFundMe. We actually have an active campaign right now where we're still raising funds um, to help with the whole federation and to help us get there. We have a social media page that you can follow us, um, BSF Nigeria. We also have a website, www.bsfnigeria.com, where people can stay tuned, can subscribe, can you know contribute to what it is that we're trying to do whether it's for moral support, financial support, mm. or even to just take the journey with us. That's right, and that's what I'm doing, taking the journey with you. I know that's right. Thank you, Shil. <laughs> Thank you, Akoma. Thank you, Ngozi. Thank you, Thank um, you so much. Nigerian ladies, you know, um, from their native country, no snow, but they're going beyond borders, uh, based in Texas. Their dream is to compete at the 2018 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. And you can be part of nation building. It's a new sport, but it's here before us. Which the only thing we can do is to support this lady. So that's it. Um, keep talking to us on Twitter channels, on the Scott Sports, Facebook channels, I Facebook. Let's take a breather now. When we come back, we'll talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League, the NNL, and all that is going down in the world of sports. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Watch this spot real quick after that.